Oh, kids. All right. Hey, you already know about the Bernoulli equation. So here's the here's Bernoulli's equation. Um, remember, this is essentially just conservation of energy for fluids. Um, remember, we already did examples like this where, hey, let's say you have a pipe and the, the water's flowing up or the water's flowing down. Remember, what do you do? Well, you pick your two points and then you say, well, from this point to this point, is there anything that I can cancel out? For this example, you would cancel out your two speeds. Why? Because the area is the same, so the speed's going to be the same. And then you could solve for stuff. You know, in this example, you'd pick your two points, and you'd say right here, and you'd say right there, and you'd say, well, geez, in this example, the heights are the same. So then if the heights are the same, well, then I have this plus this equals this plus this, and you can solve for stuff. You know, and this is an example where it's going to be moving faster here. So if this is bigger, that would have to be smaller, and we've done examples like that. Okay, today we're going to do a special example where you are going to have a large vat of water. So here is my large vat of water. So we'll say this is water, but it doesn't have to be water. It could be really any liquid. Um, and there's a small opening at the bottom, okay? So that the water is, let's say, you know, there's my small opening. So the water is going to come shooting out of it like this. And you know, if this was last year, or if this is a different class, or even in this class, you're expected to be able to do this. Hey, you could do a projectile problem, and you could, you know, figure out how fast the water's coming out of here, and then figure out where it's going to land, and how much fun would that be? I know. Or what I'm going to do for this video is we're just, I'm just going to show you how we can find how fast it's going at this point. So remember, okay, um, when we're doing Bernoulli equation, just like conservation energy, you have to pick your two important points. So in this case, what are my two important points? Well, one point is going to be there. So that would be one important point. And then my other point would be right below the water surface. Okay. Now, as long as this right here is much larger than this opening, the, the rate that this water is going to drop down at is going to be really, really slow, okay? And you don't need like to have a giant vat. You could actually do this with even just a water bottle as long as this hole is teeny tiny, okay? Um, but the rate that this is going to go down is going to be really slow. All right, so if you take a look, here is our example. So we have, here's one, here's two. So taking a look at this, Okay, do you see how, well, what is the pressure right here? Well, this is exposed to the atmosphere. That means at one, it would be an atmosphere. Well, what is the pressure right here? As long as that's right below the surface, that would also be an atmosphere. So look, do you see how this would be a case where your pressure actually cancels out because of where you're picking your two points? So far, so good. Then... If this is really, really slow, if this is going down really slow, well, then we can essentially say that the speed at that point is going to be zero because the rate that this is going to move down is going to be so small, it's going to be essentially zero. So if you take a look, I'm going to end up with this is my Bernoulli equation. Okay, so atmosphere, and this is essentially going to be zero. So if you take a look, this would be height, this would be h1, and then that would be h2. And then if you take a look here, well, all right, so if I wanted to find how fast it's going, I would have to then do h2 minus h1, which is really that height. Hopefully you see that. And so you would end up with just an equation that's going to look like this. One half, well, it would be this. Where this would be the... Okay, that would be the difference in heights. 
okay, as shown on my picture. And then, hey, look, density goes away, and I end up with V equals the square root of 2GH, and you can solve. And I want to show you, because remember, this is conservation of energy. If I was to drop a ball from here to here, so I'm going to go from A to B, or my initial velocity is zero. And just to show you how cool this is, that, hey, conservation of energy, I'm starting with potential. I'm ending with kinetic. Potential is mgh. Kinetic is one-half mv squared. <laughs> hey, look. Conservation of energy for fluids. Pretty cool. Okay, but that's how you do it. I don't want you to memorize this equation. I want you to understand what we're doing. Remember, to be successful in physics, you understand. You don't memorize. Okay, this relationship, though, it's not, this isn't important. It's called Torcelli's Law. Okay, um, he actually, he actually discovered this before Bernoulli discovered his equation. And later on, it just, it was just like, well, Torcelli's law is really explained with the Bernoulli equation. So really just Bernoulli equation, really just conservation of energy. Um, you should be able to do the simulation using physics aviary. Have fun with it. Bye, kids.